What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Kaufman. These are my fishing adventures. I am on the frozen lake of the woods right now on the Minnesota Canadian border right now. We're staying at Zipple Bay Resort and the reason why I chose to come here is because they have something that's pretty dang unique here. They actually built an igloo bar out on the ice. You can get your beer, you can get your pizza, but you can actually fish through the floor of this bar. So we're gonna gear up right now and for the first time ever in my life, I'm gonna go fishing in a bar. All right, look at this. All these cars are lined up. We've got tons of snowmobiles out here, but when you first come to this igloo bar, man, look at this. They've got a dish up there, but this place is really cool, man. It is really windy and blustery out here. That's the window right there that we're gonna sit at and fish, but right now I just kind of wanted to show you outside. Look at this. We even have igloo biffies over here. That is pretty cool. And then what is this? We've got uh, traffic lights for, for, for some reason. I, 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 don't, I don't know why that exists, but it's cool, whatever. But <laughs> igloo biffies over there. And look at this place. This is so cool. All right, we're going in. Whew, man. So this is Nick. How long have you been working at the Igloo Bar? My second winter. Second winter. How long has the Igloo Bar been out here, do you know? Uh, roughly 10 years or so. Yeah. About 10 years. And, I mean, is this busy in here or does it get packed in here? It gets, yeah, you get on like a Friday, Saturday night and it'll be elbow to elbow. Gotcha. And, and Zippo Bay Resort, they're the only ones that have a bar out here on the ice. So that you know of or is yeah, there another one? as far as I know, a bar this size, we're the only only one in the state. That's sure. what I thought, yeah. So. All right, this place is cool because look at this. You can get like all sorts of treats over here. It's a full service bar. I mean, yeah. full service sinks, everything. You can get pizzas over here. Yep. But yeah, I mean, look at this. This place isn't really packed. It was earlier, but you know, a lot more people over here on the fishing side than there is on the non-fishing side over there, so. So yeah, once, once the sun goes down and the bite kind of stops then this place will really get popular. Gotcha. Like today, so. so when is the bite on? Uh, typically, I mean you can get the morning bite, the afternoon is kind of slow and then uh, you'll get into the evening bite, you know, two to, two to dark. Two to usually. dark. So, so right now, while I'm talking to you, I could be over there fishing and catching some. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Very cool, man. There you this go. is a cool place in the world. Heck yeah. All right. So we've got our hole dug out here. We just got to clean out all the ice here. There we go. All right, so we're baited up. We've got the hole cleaned out down here. I'm gonna start fishing and then I'm gonna show you guys this place. All right, so I was just talking to the guys here and they said that we're in about 10 feet of water here and the walleyes kind of move in and out, but the big northerns kind of cruise this whole area. So we're gonna get Martin's hole drilled out so that he can fish. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna use a rattle trap with a sucker minnow and a plain hook and he's gonna go for those big pike that roam around here. I'm gonna continue to fish for walleye out of my hole over here. Man, that is some icy soup. This rattle trap has a leader on it, and uh, we put a pike hook on it. We're gonna set this down about two feet off the bottom with a big old sucker minnow. We're gonna try to get some pike off of this. All right, there we are. We're all loaded up with the big sucker. Send that sucker down there. All right, so we've got our bait set. Martin's going for northern. I'm gonna continue to fish for walleye. We're gonna get a couple more beers, maybe a pizza. Look at this place, man. This place is packed in here. All these people taking a break from fishing. Oh, look at this. This is like foam. 
And this place is just so cool. We've got chandeliers up there, a fan up there. We got a full bar over here. So you can get all sorts of beers here, pizzas for 12 bucks, chicken noodle soup, cash only. You can buy sweatshirts, you can buy wine. All these treats up here. Look at this, this is a full bar here. And you can also get a pizza, which I think we're gonna do. Look at this, you come over here, ATM machine, because they only take cash, but this is the non-fishing section over here. Look at this. Man, that's got to be worth at least uh, 10 bucks. Oh, and we got 20 bucks over there. This is such a cool place in the world. All right, so we're going to get uh, two premiums. And then uh, I owe you for that premium over there. Okay. Team 50. There you go. Thanks, brother. Okay. Got our beers over here where Martin is. Do we have a bite yet? No. What's going on over here? We're just going to let that sit. We're going to enjoy our beers. Cheers. We are fishing in a bar. Oh, so many frozen boogers. This place is heated, but still. Man, there's a draft coming up from below here where I'm fishing. But it's such a bizarre thing to actually be in a bar, fishing through the floor of the bar, drinking beers, we're about to order a pizza. Man, you cannot get any more Minnesotan than this, except for maybe an empty purple football trophy case. But seriously, purple pride forever. We're gonna enjoy our beers, and I'm gonna see if I can pull a fish through the floor of this bar. So what is that? Uh, beer number seven? Just three. Three. Just three. Three. All right. Those are rookie numbers. You got to get those numbers up. We're working on it. All right. Meanwhile, nothing seems to be happening over here, and nothing seems to be happening on the rattle over there. Just give it time. Give it time. Give it time. It'll happen. But there's two guys fishing over there. There's two guys fishing over there. Eventually. Somebody's gonna pull a fish through this floor. All right, what's going on over here? We should have had three times our limit of walleyes so far. What's going on? Oh, look at this. Oh, thank it's you. For you. Yes. I mean, how amazing is this? We're drinking beers, we're eating pizza, we're fishing through a hole in the floor of a bar on a frozen lake. It's amazing. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh, man, this is so awesome. Love it. All right, I'm having some za. Look at that. Woo! That is hot. That is, that is hot pizza. Put it outside for two seconds, it'll be frozen pizza. <laughs> Alright, so a little update to it. It's now hour three that we've been sitting here. We're maybe 10, 12 beers in, a pizza in. This place is really starting to hop right now. There's people all over the place here, but the thing that is not here are the fish. So Martin and I are fishing over here in this corner. There's maybe three or four other people fishing over there. No one has gotten anything yet. Man, it's really cool to be in a place like this, but it'd be much cooler if somebody would catch a fish. and six I think are we is that accurate yeah Beer, yeah uh, fish number zero so far we really can't leave this igloo bar without pulling a fish through the floor but man it's been it's been quiet all right so it seems like Marty and I are the only ones still fishing over there do people actually come here to fish or is it more of a novelty and what time does the fishing kind of turn off here? Right at dark. That's, right at dark. Yeah, that's kind of why everyone stops. But I tend to keep a, a rattle reel or something in the hole or in the, in the water all the time. Yeah. You never know. 
All right. All right, so we're going to have maybe five or six more beers, and then I think we're going to call it a night. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah keep, keep the line in the water, though, because you never know. You never know? That's, sometimes that's when the big fish get caught. That's true. Man, this place was rowdy 10 minutes ago, and now this place is completely empty. But man, look at this. Absolutely nada going on down these holes. That rattle reel hasn't even moved an inch, let alone several centimeters. Neither have I. Yeah. I mean, seriously, at this point, I don't care if I catch any fish. This is just awesome. All right, guys, so we are the last people in this bar and the last people fishing in this bar. You know, I really wanted to pull something through the floor of this bar. That would have been awesome. But, you know, we just spent four or five hours out here watching the game, having a ton of beers, having a pizza, talking with people out here. But, you know, I'll tell you, sometimes fishing isn't about catching fish. It's about being in a place like this and just having an awesome time, which is what we did. But don't go away because tomorrow is a brand new day out out here out on Lake of the Woods. Tomorrow we're going out to our ice house further out on the lake in deeper water. We're gonna target those walleyes again in the morning and we will see you guys then. So good morning guys. We are back at it again here. It is bright and early in the morning. We're back out here on Lake of the Woods. I don't know if you can see it, but way off in the distance right about there is the igloo bar that we were at last night. But this is where we're gonna start this morning. We're gonna start shallow for northerns and walleyes in our little shack here. We're all set up in here. Martin's already fishing here. I've got a rig set up there for walleye. And then up here, on that rod, I've got a sucker minnow down for northerns down there. How optimistic are we feeling this morning? Can I compliment you on your pom-pom hat? It's a classic. It's a classic, it is. So we're gonna start fishing here and uh, hopefully we're gonna have much better luck than we did at the ice bar. Yeah. All right, so we don't have any rattle traps in this house, but we do have a little spool here, but that's not really gonna, that's not really gonna work. So Martin, we're gonna MacGyver uh, a rig here. So we're gonna use suckers here on this line that we're gonna put down this hole. And you're just gonna use basically the spool. Yep. And just set it down there. I would suggest maybe like a foot or two off the bottom. And we're just gonna let that sit down there. And then what, you're just gonna put the reel right in the right in the box. Yeah, I got this box that my grandpa made. And oh, that's all I'm gonna awesome. do is I'm set the reel in here, and when something takes it, it'll just shake around in the box and I'll grab it. Fantastic, because there's really, I mean, if we put it on the table, that's gonna go in. There's really nothing in this ice house to put that in, but man, that's a cool box. So your grandpa made that? Yeah. It's got like a seat on it. So that's his, that's your grandpa's old ice fishing kit with a seat. Well, I don't know how to use it for ice fishing, but I use it for tools. And I got this, I just sit on it and ice fish now. I keep all my ice fishing stuff in it. It's fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Hopefully something takes that here. All right. It looks like a school is maybe moving through here. Oh, oh wow. That school is going. Okay. He's on. All right. Sweet! We got a northern on here. Let's bring him up here. I'm gonna move this over. Whoa, he's running. Let him run, let him run. I'm gonna move that over there. All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. My route's going over there. Okay. Or maybe it's all, maybe this guy is tangling them all up. You wanna reel up? Reel up the other ones. All right, what do we got here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I think he's got some of these lines tangled here. Yeah, we got all tangled up. So that minnow is from that rod over there. This rod is reeled up, that rod is reeled up. All right, I think you're free to go, but he is tangled. So we're gonna try to get this guy up. He probably swam in a big circle underneath the ice house here and tangled up all of our lines. Oh, come on, Martin, we cannot lose this fish. How's he feel? He feels like he has a little bit of weight to him. Or he keeps taking off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Have you seen him yet? Oh, oh there he is, there he is. Oh, oh he is fun. huge. He is huge. Hold on, let me try. He is a monster northern. Oh, look at, look at, look at. He's coming up. Can you get my gloves for me, please? Yep, yep, where are they? Right there. 
All right, so we'll grab the gloves. Here you go, man. I just need one. I just need one. Just one? All right, here we go, here we go. This guy is enormous. Oh, he is a monster. He is a monster. <laughs> yes, Martin. <laughs> prize, prize jaws open a little bit, please. Oh, look at this guy. Can you prize jaws a little bit? Uh, with my bare hand, let's try this. Oh. Yeah, he's got some teeth in him. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is hurting, Dave. <sighs> he got my finger. All right, all right. Ouch. Did the other glove. All right, hang on. I got to put on the other glove. Okay, got okay, it. Okay, you got it, got it, got it, got it. Look at this fish, Martin. Get a picture. Look at this fish. Get an actual picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we got to measure him. Oh, my God, that is a monster. The hook just came out. Dude, that is fantastic. Got it? Yeah, I got tons of photos. Okay, measure. Let's get a measurement on him and get him back in. Here's the measuring stick. Let's lay him down. Oh my God. 36 inches. 36 inches. Woo! Okay, let's get him back down. <laughs> let's get him back down. Yep, all right. Let's get him back down as soon as we got him back up. Oh my God, that he's is fantastic. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, he's clamped onto the wood. <laughs> okay. Here, let's move this, let's move this. Get, no, get no, him back up. No. He's going back down. Oh my God, that is fantastic. Okay, guy. That is fantastic. Is that the biggest northern you've ever caught? Yes. Oh, oh, oh okay. you just pulled my rod in. All right, hang on a second. This is all craziness. I think I just lost that rod over there. No, 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 I got it here. Okay. All right, take this. Now we've got to figure out. Okay, so this rod is for this. This is just absolutely crazy. So now I have to reel my rod that fell through that hole because he tangled himself up and get my rod out of that hole. And that's how we do that. <laughs> that's a little cold. Oh man, Very vindication of 36 inch Northern man. It has been a quiet morning here, but man, he tangled every single one of these rods in here. That rod fell through that hole. Luckily, he was wrapped around that hole, and we got him, but look at that. He bit right through your glove, didn't he? Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> did he get your, like, did he break the skin underneath? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. He bit right through your glove. Let me see that. He got me a little bit. Oh. So what is this? Look at this. It's just neoprene. Neoprene. He bit right through that neoprene. Whew, Woo! Man. High five, man. High five. Fish with, guts. High five with slimy palms, man. I love it. 36 inches. That was amazing and released unharmed. Biggest northern in my life. Woo! 36. <laughs> that is fantastic. And we didn't lose any of our rods, but... Man, do I have a mess to clean up now. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you, catching a big fish like that makes this trip completely worthwhile. We have been sitting here for at least three, maybe four hours this morning, nothing happening, not a bite, and then that big monster northern comes along. Man, that just made the trip. So, you know, I'll tell you guys, fishing in such an awesome place like the Igloo Bar up here, and then coming out here to fish in shallow water and catch a monster trophy pike like that, man, that is why I love coming up here to Lake of the Woods. So right now we're gonna leave this house we're gonna go to deeper water to fish and about 20, maybe 30 feet for some bigger walleyes. That video is coming next. So guys, as always, leave a comment below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you always get notified when I upload. And until the next fishing adventure, fish the planet and rattle on.